Hello. It is June 2020 here in Guayaquil and it's a Sunday around 11 a.m. Early morning, 26 degrees, a little cold and I'm doing fine. So right now I'm at the side of a hill. I can show it to you if you want. Behind that wall is the freeway. I think you can hear the cars. And at the other side, I have a view of the east part of the city. There is Mapasinge and Ceibos to very different um, neighborhoods right to each other in Guayaquil. Well, I think um, environment has always an influence in your work, uh, whether it is the place where you are, uh, the climate in where you are, if it's winter, if it's summer, uh, the temperature, your uh, mental state, state in which you are working um, it has always an, an influence and the job of an artist for me is to perceive all this and translate it into something uh, in which you can communicate it so about the pandemic I actually wanted to avoid having an immediate statement about it because of the seriousness of the situation and how it hit uh, Latin, Latin America especially hard. Um, I would say it could be a little bit difficult for Europeans to uh, fully understand how um, how different it impacted here from from Europe in the way that uh, for example people that could stay home got congratulated uh, by it in social networks when they were posting it the I stay home hashtag and, and, and all that stuff um, but the majority of the people just had to choose between dying from COVID-19 or dying of hunger so they had to go out um, and work and sell stuff so it was like a pretty nightmarish scenario here here for uh, for most of the people um, but I, I think um, th there is one ad artwork that is like a, al almost like a di direct reaction to the topic um, um, and, and I think that the positive part of it is that this pandemic showed us in a very brutal way uh, a lot of truths about the social structures how things work uh, in cities in Latin America and around the world actually um, and yeah so speaking about the artwork showed in general um, it is a compilation of paintings in acrylic oils and watercolor made uh, in the last year and a half or so. I think a lot of my artwork has to do with um, introspection, symbolism and identity. And that comes from the fact that um, what represent, represents living five years in another country, like um, that exposes you to some brutal questions about identity, self-awareness, uh, like, what makes you yourself um, do the, 
cultural elements of your homeland uh, mean the same to you or do they change? Um, for example, does a plastic chair have has the same meaning as a poncho or a pan flute? Um, like, how are you being perceived by other people and by yourself in different places is a topic, I would say. Um, yeah, those kind of questions about identity and what's your like role in your immediate environment uh, are important to to have in mind when you are looking at the at the work. I think it could be helpful for visitors uh, looking at the work to know uh, that I'm to know from me that I'm a, a white passing. Mestizo, Latino, living in Berlin for five years now. Um, I think it's important because that has given me like the opportunity to rethink how how I want to present myself to other people around me. Um, because living as a migrant, it's very you could fall, you can very easily fall into stereotypes or be put into stereotypes not just uh, by other people but by yourself. Um, I think it is a very weird phenom phenomenon uh, because you are like a, uh, you are like constantly fighting with your own guard that is yourself that is constantly um, telling you what you should do um, and what you should not do. So it is like a, it is very weird actually. <laughs> but yeah, I, I would say that is important to know.